Uh, so what is a ransomware? A ransomware is a type of malware which encrypts file in a system and demands for a ransom in the form of payment in order to decrypt those encrypted files. So ransomware nowadays is one of the most critical problems in the computer security domain. Uh, it has estimated that ransomware will cost around 20 billion US dollars in order to recover from those type of attacks in year 2021. Uh, in addition to uh, financial losses, uh, now, it has, now it is becoming a threat to human life as well. Last year, ransomware attacks caused the death of a woman because of uh, health authorities were unable to recover patients' data, which was uh, the hospital was crippled by a ransomware attack. Uh, this explains the severity of the problem. Therefore, it is essential to have publicly available resources for the battle against ransomware attacks. When it uh, comes to available systems, which provides a solution uh, for ransomware attacks, has a major limitation. Uh, the existing system uses ransomware nodes, which is left by the ransomware attacker, uh, to identify the attack uh, and the existing system uses a static feature in order to identify the ransomware family and provide the available solution for that specific family. However, with the growth of new ransomware variants, it is infeasible to use such signature-based methods to track ransomware. Therefore, within our research, we explore that problem. Therefore, in our project, we focus to overcome those limitations in the existing system and develop a system which is capable of keeping up with the ransomware uh, growth. So this let me demonstrate to you a normal uh, computer system. See everything is cool and calm. Pro uh, programs are working. You can open the files and all sorts and uh, so this is prior to a, a ransomware attack then suddenly a ransomware attack occurs in this case it's the wanna cry attack so all your files are encrypted now you cannot open your files the attacker has provided this uh, decryptor to guide you through the decryption process is demanding 300 US dollars for uh, safe return of your files. See, when you open the file, it's uh, decrypted and it cannot be opened. All your files are encrypted with the extension of WannaCry. So what now? Either pay and pray for the safe return of your files or look for a way to recover your files outside rather than being in the mercy of the attacker. Our project, our final year project uh, is ransomware solution recommendation expert system, which focus on the above mentioned uh, aspects, uh, which is missing from existing uh, systems. Uh, we will talk about what uh, is happening in the project in the coming uh, momentarily. Our project objectives is develop a method to classify ransomware into families using their features develop a test environment by using multiple tools in collaboration, develop a ransomware information extract system for online resources, and integration of all three above mentioned concepts into forming the ransomware solution expert system. So the methodology of the ransomware solution recommendation expert system, as you can see, our developed system consists of three subsystems, which are named ransomware family classification and novelty detection system, real-time test analysis system, ransomware inside generation system. Uh, as mentioned in the project objectives, ransomware family classification is a subcomponent of the final system. The family classification process is very crucial because it can reduce the malware analysts workload in a significant amount of time by identifying existing malware families 
because if a system can automate the process of malware classification, the analyst does not need to start the analysis process for known families from the beginning. In order to achieve the objective, we, we developed machine learning aided ransomware family classification model using Windows 32 API sequences. One of the major limitations of existing systems mentioned in the literature review was that existing methods only capable to operate under a closed set. This means those systems have assumed that only trained classes appear in the real world environment and do not provide the functionality to identify a new variant of malware. However, in the case of ransomware analysis, new ransomware families appear frequently and systems that can't identify those new variants are not much of a useful for, analyze, uh, for analysts. In our research, we implement a normality detection model that provides the system capability to operate as an open set. Our next subsystem, the real-time test analysis system, uh, is the ransomware extracts text data from online resources and outputs meaningful information about users who are affected by ransomware and gathers solutions. Throughout the period of project until now, we analyzed some web resources such as Twitter, Quora, Reddit, Facebook, US search sites, bleeping computer news, bleeping computer forums, etc. Uh, the US search sites gave us information about new uh, ransomware and what steps should we use to take to prevent these kind of attacks. Bleeping News and Twitter also had similar behaviors where they deliver the news aspects of ransomware attacks. Even though there were discussions on Twitter about ransomware, there are no solutions discussed. Uh, Facebook, on the other hand, also have ransomware discussion communities, but instead of discussing solutions in public, most of the help uh, was provided in private. Therefore, we, it was uh, not uh, retrievable by our system. But in Quora and Reddit forums, the users have talked about their experiences such as solutions. Uh, did they pay the ransom? Uh, were they able to decrypt after paying the ransom or were they able to decrypt uh, without paying the ransom, etc. Uh, bleeping computer forums also have useful information and decryption methods discussed in ransomware discussion forums. Since Reddit have exposed an API for developers to extract information from Reddit forums, we focused on analyzing Reddit forums. There are hundreds of discussions of victims and who are gathered to help them around the world. For information extraction, we used a pre-trained BERT. Uh, BERT means bidirectional encoder representation from transformers, uh, question answering mod model, which outputs answers for questions by analyzing the text. Since this system is gathering information continuously, malware analysts can obtain fresh information every time. The third subsystem is ransomware inside generation system. Uh, which as our goal is to ease the work of a malware analyst by automating a part of his task. Uh, we chose to provide insights about the ransomware and uh, such as uh, what are the, how the ransomware infection has happened, uh, how did it uh, achieve the uh, encryption uh, as such information is provided uh, through the ransomware inside generation system. And, we use the we use about we use the analysis provided through the cuckoo sandbox report which was uh, done in the classification system and extract that opcode op from the ransomware binary file which is submitted to the system uh, to generate the above mentioned uh, insights and with the experimentation evaluation of our system, we uh, first focus on ransomware family classification. Uh, the first table shows performance of various machine learning algorithms with some features engineering techniques used in ransomware family classification process. So as you can see here, a, a random forest output best result among other uh, algorithms. 
and the next table shows the performance of LOF. Uh, in other words, local outlier factor, novelty detection uh, model performance evaluation. Uh, and in the next final uh, two tables, shows the evaluation results of the sentiment analysis system, which used machine learning and deep learning methods. We can observe that from use machine learning algorithms, naive base has the highest accuracy and recall. Also in close to the nice value in precision and recall, we can choose the naive base model for implementing our system because it has the highest accuracy and recall. Uh, recall is important because in information retrieval, recall is the fraction of the relevant data that are successfully recalled. Therefore, higher the recall, uh, the more data uh, will be retrieved from our data set. Okay. So as you can see, this is a small demonstration of our final system we created. First, we input the files to be as uh, detected as the binary file of the uh, ransomware, and then we submit it to the system. And after submission, uh, the system runs the uh, binary file in our sandbox environment and creates uh, several reports, which are used for our subsystems uh, to be uh, used. And based on those results, uh, reports, these results are generated from our respective uh, uh, subsystems. And uh, as you can see in the first one, the open source classification results, uh, the ransomware is detected to be as low key and it is uh, precisely recognized into low key uh, family uh, of ransomwares. Uh, and also if the ransomware is not recognized into such families, uh, then our uh, novelty detection system would mark it as a, a new uh, ransomware family variant. Of course, uh, then after that, uh, our text information analysis system results is presented. And as you can see, it has also detected that uh, the ransomware is low key and the extensions about it and what are the possible solutions uh, detected so far uh, and from the online resources. Uh, uh, sadly, uh, this one has not uh, yet found results about uh, the ransomware solution. Uh, but uh, with our continuous learning, it will eventually found solu find solutions about uh, the Loki ransomware and uh, present it to the ransomware analysis. And after that, our third uh, third subsystem, the ransomware inside generation system, provides these outputs: the entropy visualization and various number of insights about the ransomware, how uh, the binary can, how the binary is made of, uh, what are the APIs it's calling, what are the actions it performs inside the system, uh, etc. Uh, so that's it, uh, folks. And thank you for your time. And uh, if you guys have any other questions regarding our project, uh, please feel free to contact one of our uh, contributors uh, to this project. And also, you can follow the uh, GitHub links and uh, other uh, reports mentioned in the uh, showcase uh, in the links you can see uh, surrounding you. Um, have a good day.